Oh, hey, YouTube. You know, this is my third video about Kazakhstan, and even though I'm proud of the first two videos, I don't feel like they completely explained what this trip meant to me. You know, they talk about things that I did in Kazakhstan, but they don't talk about what Kazakhstan did to me. So this isn't gonna be your typical vlog, it's gonna be more of a storytelling video. This is why I will never forget Kazakhstan. It was day three of our tour in Kazakhstan, and it was another day with a lot of driving. That's one common theme in Kazakhstan. It's a big country, things are far apart. And today we were driving from Shimkent to another place called Turkestan. And along the way, we made a few interesting stops. First, we stopped at a little bakery to try some traditional Kazakh bread. And as we were walking to the bakery, <laughs> we met these funny women, these funny Kazakh women who were painting a fence, so random. And they, they, were, they were very interested in our group of foreign travelers and why we were in South Kazakhstan. And of course, we were very interested in them as well. So I tried to ask some questions using our Kazakh guide, Dina. What is, what is their favorite thing about life in Kazakhstan? Okay. Kazakhstan is the most popular thing in Kazakhstan. What is Kazakhstan? What is Kazakhstan? I'm from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is the most popular thing in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is my motherland. That's why I like it. So, because it's just my motherland, just naturally. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. She has five kids. Five kids. Five kids. So they wow. have a big family. They're mothers of the family. <laughs> and she's joking that my sixth child is my husband. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great little moment. And then after that we went to the bakery and we tried the traditional bread and it was delicious. I'm starting to sweat just standing in front of this fire for two But you know, that wasn't the moment I'll never forget. And so we continued on our journey. And next thing you know, we were driving by this caravan of camels. Uh, <laughs> they didn't even appear to be with any people. They were just wandering down the street. <laughs> and of course, we're a bunch of bloggers and influencers. So we had, we had to get out and get our selfies and chase down the camels a little bit. Now you can see the traditional trail of camels with the trail of Instagrammers behind them. We're gonna get another view as we drive by. Let's, let's Watch this. Yeah. It's telling you, they're all trained. So cool. I don't know, it was just a really cool moment seeing these camels. I had so many questions like, where are they going? Why are they on their own? Um, what are they thinking about? Like, what goes through the mind of a camel? Meanwhile, our driver and the other drivers like couldn't care less. So it, it appeared that seeing camels like this was a pretty common sight in South Kazakhstan. But once again, this was not the moment I will never forget. And so after that, we continued our journey until we'd reached a mausoleum. It was a very old building going back to the 12th century. Again, it didn't seem like they were getting a lot of foreign tourists because the locals we met in there were super friendly and super curious about our group. Yes, we are tourists. I am from Canada. Philippines, Turkey, um, India. You are from Kazakhstan? Yes, uh, Almaty. Almaty. Oh, Almaty is a beautiful yeah, city. It was just cool to see this really off the beaten path side of the country. And afterwards on the way out, I got to try some camel milk. Okay, this is camel's milk. I go, what is the name of this? Shubat. Shubat. My first time trying Shubat. Shubat. Yeah, it has um, a cheesy taste, kind of a sour cheese taste. Yeah. yeah, better than horse, I would say. Better than horse. Oh yeah, and the day before that, I tried horse milk. Um, okay. well, we are the guys who 
<laughs> that one I would not recommend. I feel like a true Kazakh now. <laughs> the taste is very distinct and very memorable. <laughs> um, What's that? <laughs> I probably won't ever forget that taste. But honestly, that is not the point of this video either. I... Am I in focus? The unforgettable moment came in a very unsuspecting way. We were just walking by this table full of little coins. And then our guide for the day, she started to explain that these are, well, you can, you can listen for yourself. Oh, okay. So from the one side, do you remember I told that all Kazakh belong to different tribes? Yes. So this is the sign of a tribe. And from the other side, you see the shape of Aristambab. And what, what is this? The molds. Inside the mold, they put some uh, pre-ready coin. And after that, you see that hammer? Oh, they hit it the with hammer. the hammer, yeah. And oh. after that, you see the print on, the, on this coin. So these are all the different tribes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> This is the tribe that this guy belongs to. Your tribe? Yes. <laughs> These tribes have existed since ancient times? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. 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 And actually, uh, before all of them, they were kind of enemies. They were fighting with each other. And finally, in the 15th century, they decided to join each other yeah. and make a Kazakh Khanate. Not kingdom, because we don't have a king as a ruler. Uh -huh. We had a Khan as the ruler. That's why uh, the name of our country was Kazakh Khanate. And now all the tribes are together on the same table. Ah, living yes, in peace, of right? Course, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a beautiful message, isn't it? All the tribes coming together and living in peace. I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but I just couldn't stop thinking about this table with all these coins side by side. You know, if that's not a symbol for what the world needs right now, I don't know what is. And then I thought about our group of travelers coming from faraway lands like Canada and India and the Philippines and Turkey. And I thought how we were all just met by the same hospitality and warmth. It was like we were all coins together on that table. That's what I will never forget from Kazakhstan. How you can visit a country you know next to nothing about and just be welcomed with open arms like that. It's, it's really remarkable. After that, we had another long drive until we reached the city of Turkestan. And by that point, I was tired. I mean, I could use a nice long nap. You look sleepy. Yes. <laughs> but I didn't take a nap because there was somewhere I had to visit. It was the mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi. And if you guys have seen pictures of this thing, I mean, I posted some on my Instagram, and it's simply remarkable. And I couldn't wait to see it for myself. So I started walking from the hotel. And as I reached the mausoleum, the sun was setting. The extreme heat of the day was finally beginning to pass. The cooler air was coming in, and the sun just painted everything with this beautiful color of orange. And I just sat there in awe of this remarkable building and, and also in awe of the fact that I had it practically all to myself. I mean, there were a few other locals, but I didn't see another Western tourist in sight. And I just thought of all the crowds at places like the Eiffel Tower and the Taj Mahal. And I wondered, wh where are the people? Where is everyone? And then I started to think about how sometimes the most beautiful places are the hardest to get to. And 
and how sometimes the most valuable life lessons come not to those who are standing still but those who are traveling long distances. I know that when I travel it tends to teach me things about myself, things about the world around me. And on day three in South Kazakhstan, I had a moment I'll never forget with that table of coins and that mausoleum under the setting sun. And I don't know if this video makes much sense to you guys at home. I, I, I feel like it's one of those experiences I don't quite have the words to explain, but hopefully I've done a half half decent job here and that's it guys that's the story of my third day in South Kazakhstan in my next video which will probably be the final video of this Kazakhstan series I'm taking you up north to Nur Sultan the capital city of Kazakhstan it is extremely different from what you've seen today uh, let me give you a little sneak preview here Wow, look at these buildings in front of me. That white and blue one looks like something out of Star Wars or Star Trek or something from space basically is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have for today. I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful afternoon in Montreal. I hope wherever you are watching from, the weather is good and the life lessons are finding their way to you or you're finding your way to them. As always guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel. Yes. I'll see you next time.